Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Jeremy Harrison. I'm uh, the product line manager for the TSS range of products and also the Baltech uh, cameras and lights. And this afternoon, I wanted to just t take a little bit of your time uh, to show you uh, what we have been doing over the last few years with regards to uh, the Hydropack 660E, uh, which is our newer uh, subsea pipe and cable detection system. So to help me, I've got a video running um, rather than slides. And what I can show you is that uh, when we first launched this product, we, uh, we told everybody that we have developed a pipe and detection tracking system to work on much smaller ROVs. For those of you that are familiar with the Hydropack range, uh, historically we have uh, been selling the 440 system which is a much larger overall system uh, designed specifically to work on larger vehicles such as the work class vehicles, uh, trenches, uh, etc. So four years ago we first launched the 660 and then a year after that we developed the 660E and the 660E is a much smaller form factor uh, coil, um, much lighter, it weighs a total of just under 16 kilograms in uh, air and uh, just under four kilograms in water. So the beauty with this system, whereas with the 440 you would have three individual coils, this is one single coil by 1.2 meters by 600 millimeters and a single uh, power supply and also processor pod. You can see here that it's being installed and operated from a Saab uh, CI Falcon. And you can see that uh, the 660E itself is installed onto a skid. That skid is a standard issue skid from Saab. And here you can see some underwater footage of that system operating. And the reason for showing you this is that when we first launched the system, and up until this date, we continuously get asked how smaller vehicles can actually operate this system. And this is obviously one of the smaller observer class, very popular observer class vehicles. And you can see here that it's working on uh, a very small vehicle, it easily manages it and operates it. You can see it's being manhandled. And the installation is the standard installation kit that comes with the, uh, the Hydropack 660E. And you can see here that the thrust is controlled, that coil, no problems at all. Just doing the pre-checks prior to diving. And very shortly, again, you'll see her underwater. And the vehicle itself is strong enough, the thrusters are strong enough to ensure that that coil is kept in a straight line, even with cross tides which proves that when we actually said it will fit and operate on smaller ROVs, it really does. And the whole point of that, of course, is that in particular with long cable lays or pipe lays, a lot of times you are faced with shallow water. With the larger ROVs, you can't do the shallow water um, surveys easily. But of course, with a smaller vehicle, you can operate at much shallower water depths. But also, as you know, for cable surveys, etc. When you are doing a survey with a larger ROV, the costs of doing that are much more expensive. But again, with a smaller vehicle, the infrastructure is much, much smaller and less costly. So we just wanted to show you a snapshot of actually the 660E in use on a smaller observation class of vehicle. It works, it operates, and it's operating around the world, uh, carrying out surveys very successfully on very small vehicles. Teledyne Marine. Everywhere you look.